Happy Monday. Good morning, my friends. Hope you're doing fantastic. We are excited. Starting the day filming, that's a great way to start a Monday, and it's even better when you get to play with your new monitors. I cannot wait to tell you about my first weekend review of these things. Oh, oh, oh man, it's so exciting. Josh is behind the camera. Say hi, Josh. Hi, Josh. There you go. It's like, it's like super tight. You turn it around, it's like, it's like right here. It's right there. I'll, I'll introduce you to Josh a little bit later. Josh is an awesome guy, and it's awesome to have him here. All right, let's uh, do this. This is my exposure mode that I've used a ton at the recent wedding. Green is perfect exposure. Red is overexposed and dark blue is underexposed. So I just have it in a, in a switch like this. So you can just kind of quickly pop. So I can use this for actually like composing my shot, but then quickly be able to be like, what's it, you know, where's my exposure at? It's awesome. Ever since I've been using these this, since this weekend, I feel like it's really helped me like get my composition better and even lighting and just like overall look and color and white balance because it's just so big and like and and bold and right in your face. So it's really really nice. The focus peaking, especially, I think it's just huge because it's so easy to nail focus and make sure that you're confident with it because you're seeing it on a large screen. Like anything, it takes some getting used to. The biggest adjustment I've had to make actually is remembering that the camera is below the monitor. I've always used GH5s like this with the monitor next to me, eye level or whatever. And so I'm used to that being kind of what I do. Then now that it's like this, it's easy to shoot everything a little low and I don't want to do that. So I'm trying to remember that I have to bring it up sometimes. Just an adjustment. So this is the boom pole that I use and K-Tech actually makes a boom pole that has either the cable that comes out the side or they have it out the back. I choose the one that gets the side because of this. You can set it down and it's not on the cable. That's it. Shoot went good, off to a great start. It's already like mid-afternoon, we had a fantastic lunch, but I'm literally so full I can barely breathe. And uh, now it's time to get to work. Oh, Happy Monday. How was your weekend, Michaela? It was phenomenal. What'd you do? I went to the beach by myself. That's your happy place. <laughs> it's my happy place. It's where I refresh. When I'm by the ocean, like my heart is happy. Did you finish the finance book? Almost. Are you feeling rich? Not yet. What yes. are you working on now? Organizing. Nice. Are you so nice. proud of me? Yes. Okay. No doubt about it, what I struggle with the most are those days that there's so much going on that you actually feel like you get nothing done. That's exactly what today is. Even though it was productive, there's filming, I'm putting in a new hard drive system, which is a nuisance in itself, but there's just so much going on. And then it's 440. And it feels like we've actually done nothing today, which is really, really frustrating. I know we have, but we haven't. Like, you know what I mean? It's just super annoying. But anyway, I wanted to at least introduce you to someone that is super cool. This is my good friend, Josh Breck. You can say hi again to the vlog if you want. But hi. I wanted to introduce you to him because he, well, number one, he's the first person actually like visiting this office out of anyone that is not like staff related. So that's really, really exciting. But. He's been following this YouTube channel for longer than anyone that I know. And the reason that he's here and no one else has yet been invited and the reason that he's starting to help out create stuff and he's starting to be a part of kind of what we're hoping to do more of at Scaling Creative is because whether it was strategic or not doesn't matter. He's very, very smart in what he does, but very smart at also just building connections with people to eventually get opportunities for different things. What I appreciate about Josh is ever since I met him, he's always been active in comments. He's been active in just trying to provide value in conversations on LinkedIn, on YouTube, all that kind of stuff. He's an encourager. He provides value. He's randomly sent me things and said, hey, I've been working on this edit. Boom, without asking. And I think the biggest thing people do wrong 
is that they try to get things from people before they add value back to them. You you did it pretty well, now you're here, and now we're gonna hopefully do lots of cool work together, but does that sum up kind of what, uh, like, how you see a relationship work too? Like, is that, you're yeah, great at it. Absolutely, it's basically just following everything that you have taught. So if mm -hmm. you watch all of your vlogs and you do everything that you've done and you just, if you say it, if you put it into practice, mm -hmm. it will work and this mm -hmm. is proof. And it's perfect timing that he's here actually today because as you guys are now in the middle of creating lots of videos for me, which I'm getting like crazy, I've been watching them on Instagram for this giveaway of what's impacted you on the channel and all these different things. What I've always appreciated about Josh and what really helps just from a creator mindset to encourage people that he, he's, there's been so many times that you'll post something of, hey, I really like this in that vlog, or I really like this little piece, or, and it's not like a sucking up thing, I mean, maybe, I hope not, but it's just, it's really encouraging to like me as a creator, and it's really encouraging if you ever want to reach out to people that you want to, you know, meet in person or even work with, to just like continue to encourage them and know that the stuff's making an actual impact, which I really, really appreciate, because, Sometimes when you talk to a camera a lot, it's it's sometimes can feel like there's nobody there even though there's lots of people there. And I continue to get fueled by just creating when I know that people are being impacted by it in some ways. He's actually not even allowed to be in the giveaway, unfortunately for him, because like he's actually helped me build content. And realistically, I would have picked him before anyone else because he's been so active and so he's been, when did you start following my channel? A long time ago. Yeah, year and a half maybe. Year and a half ago. And literally I think he's watched every vlog because he usually comments with something that was a takeaway, which I super appreciate. If you go back and watch like any vlog, you'll probably see him in the comments, usually with BRX Studios that he's from. Just an awesome, awesome guy. And now he's gonna help create content with me and with Scaling Creative and just, it's it's really, really exciting. And what else, Josh? Anything else good? Yeah, anybody that you, uh, basically anything that you wanna do in your life, just find somebody that's already doing it and then just follow what they did and, and their success principles and, and the tactics that they used. And because I wanted to start personal branding and I wanted to learn wedding filmmaking, I basically followed what he said. So if you have somebody that, a mentor from afar that you, that you enjoy. And, and the thing about commenting is that you want to make sure that it's very specific. Just saying thanks or great job, it's not very specific. It also, it helps you, it helped me because it helped me remember as well what I was commenting and yeah. remember from the actual video I had I forced myself to say well what did I gain from that what value and then I would show my appreciation because acknowledgement is, is is very important to show that you really appreciate your mentors and what they do for you because they're yeah. working hard and they're sacrificing a lot to provide value and, and it's really important to let them know that appreciate <laughs> appreciate you being here Absolutely. it's awesome meeting you in person appreciate it. add value to people's lives Good things can happen. I'm not even saying that it's, this is like the best thing that could ever happen to you, but did you have fun today? I did. I did. It's are part we, of the process. Part are we the, the same? Are we how we are on the vlogs? So I was saying that to Pablo, <laughs> like that you would say stuff and then I would already know what you're thinking, what you're saying, <laughs> because you're very consistent. So what you see is what you get. So anything that he said on the vlog is exactly they'll repeat it and I'm like yes I know that you, I watched your vlog three days ago but that's the point it's a consistent message yeah and it's not and he'll you know vouch for the fact that like I don't always do like one take perfect things in the camera either I obviously stay consistent with what I'm talking about but a lot of people come up to me and they're like you're just so smooth talking on the camera and you always talk and granted the more you do it the better you get but like no one's perfect and the great thing about editing is you just fix it so I, I think it's just important to realize that you just get better at anything that you do, and I'm always trying to get better as well, but I'm not perfect either. He could show you, he could tell you that there's many times that I stop and I'm like, hmm, and I re-talk to the camera, but I'm glad that it's consistent at least because sometimes when I meet people that I don't actually know in person, but they kind of know me, I wonder if like it's the same experience. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. This was not a super exciting vlog, but I'm really, really excited to be seeing all of your uh, videos that are coming in here. As I, as I was looking at them earlier, I see tons of them coming in. So in case you missed that video, in case YouTube hasn't shown it to you yet, we are doing the small HD Focus 5 giveaway for this uh, right here. 
And that video I will link below if you have not heard yet exactly how you submit for it, but I'm getting all your videos now and it's pretty exciting to see them all coming in. So I'm excited to keep seeing them. Thanks for watching.